Haley Vida House. Haley Vida House. Beauty, lifestyle, fashion, travel, entertainment. I'm here with two amazing actors. I'm so honored they're here. They're giving me so much credibility. The amazing Asaf Cohen and Pej Badat. <laughs> Pleasure to be here. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. You boys are such an inspiration to me. You play every kind of role. You're breaking stereotypes. Such an interesting time to be in Hollywood, isn't it? Sure is. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we're pretty lucky to be doing what we do and not playing the stereotypical terrorists. Yes. Been there. Played the terrorists. There, and, uh, Didn't you play the ones that redeem themselves? Uh, except for when I got killed by Jack Bauer twice. Uh, yes, oh, yes, yes. That's right. It happens. It happens. It's an occupational hazard of being Middle Eastern. Yeah. You never got killed on 24, did you? I've never been on 24. What? Yeah. I'm probably okay, the only brown actor who's never been we on have, 24. We have because look at this punim. Uh -huh. Look at his face. I don't know what punim so is. He's so beautiful. You can't kill this guy. <laughs> he's, too, he's too good looking to be <laughs> evil. Oh, thank you. The people on so Bones. Are you? So are you? Well, Bones fans would freak out if he got shot. <laughs> There'd be riots in the streets. Bones fans were freaking out at the last event at Macy's. Yeah, they're all over you. They're very, very kind. They're the most loyal following I've ever seen, really. I love the longevity of your show in these times when things get canceled and changed. It's comforting to have that. <laughs> As an actor, it's very comforting to have that. Um, yeah. May you never have a mortgage. May you never, ever have a mortgage. Inshallah. God willing. <laughs> yeah, um, we're going on season 12. It's going to be our final season. We're going to have uh, 12 episodes to finish out the series. and. It'd be pretty amazing. So what's on the horizon for you and then you? Um, I'm going to finish up season 12 and I have a couple movies coming out and then we'll go from there. And non-stereotypical roles, right? Yeah, pretty much. My last character name was Brett. I love it! <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. Were you like a preppy, snotty guy? Uh, no, I was the love interest to the lead girl. Who's a white girl? Yes. Oh my god, you're like breaking every stereotype in that song. <laughs> okay. I guess. And then what about you, my friend? Um, I'm going to be, uh, there's a movie going on in the festivals right now. It's called The Prophet with uh, Salma Hayek and Liam oh, Neeson. Oh, the Khalil Gibran. Yeah, yeah, so I did some voices on that. And uh, right now I'm, uh, I'm narrating an audio book about the Iranian revolution. It's called The Fall of Heaven. Oh, my God. I wish it was me. Oh, you wish you were the Iranian revolution? No, I wish I was the narrator of the Iranian uh, It's something. It's, it's, uh, it's quite a work, and I'm learning quite a bit. Well, I, who wrote it? Ah, I don't know the name off the top later. of my head. I'll, I'll, I'll text it to you later. Uh, but it's it's a seminal work, and it's uh, I'm learning a lot, quite a bit, a lot of French in there, which I don't speak. Uh, but I know but there's a lot of French. Go but figure. I think your most important role is you're you're a dad to a baby. I am. He is. You have a lovely wife. He is chunky. Yes, she's she's pretty amazing and and uh, very kind to keep me around. Yes. Oh, you're a great duo. Well, he is a lovely lady himself. And he has a lovely lady. All the good ones are taken. Uh. Just the sleazy ones are left for me to contend with. <laughs> yes. You know who I'm talking about. No comments. Uh. Yes, all of our friends.